Hello and welcome to another Cheeky Scientist training uh, video. Uh, I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist and today we're going to be talking about what is the value of a PhD. So what is your value? You have a PhD, uh, maybe you went into graduate school or even your postdoc feeling very valuable, um, like your career was set on a path that was going to lead to security, um, was going to lead to you being able to do meaningful work and being paid well for it. And now maybe you feel like uh, that's not happening and you feel like your PhD is not valuable. Now your PhD, rest assured, is very valuable. Um, it's just not valuable in academia and I'm going to show you some data on this. Okay, so the first number we're going to look at is from the NIH, right? so the National Institute of Health. Uh, this is in the US. Um, in, in 2017, the NIH guideline for a zero-year postdoc so a zero-year postdoc, a postdoc just starting out, was $47,484 a year. Okay, so about $47,484,000 uh, $47, $47, a, a year is the total that a postdoc is suggested to make when they first start their postdoc. Okay, and if, for those postdocs who are watching this, you're probably shaking your head knowing that this is not what you made starting out as in your postdoc. Um, instead, if you look at pay scale, Glassdoor, if you look at these national averages, the 2017 average postdoc salary, right, nationwide, the average is only 46,341. And this is something we've been talking a lot about this week. So again, the NIH sets a guideline for $47,000, but nobody follows it. So what's the point of the NIH even setting a guideline in the first place? Um, it's, it's almost a joke, right? Because again, the national average is only $46,000. So again, that's, this is the average. So all postdocs, all the postdocs in the U.S., and this is, it's worse in other countries. Uh, there's only one other country that, that does a pretty good job of paying postdocs. That's Australia because their population is so low. Um, but in the U.S. and most other countries, postdocs are paid horribly in academia. Um, PhDs are paid horribly in academia. And so this is why a lot of PhDs feel like their PhD is not valuable anymore. Again, all postdocs, no matter if they're a zero year or a 10 year postdoc, the average overall is only 46,341, okay? 46,341, even though the NIH guideline for a zero year postdoc is above that. So just let that sink in and realize that you, if you have a PhD, you are not valuable in academia. You're not valuable. You're never gonna be paid well there. It's never going to be fixed. Okay, now, the good news is that your PhD is very valuable in industry. And this is great news because hiring in industry for PhDs is up over 20%. We've seen this internally. A lot of companies are hiring, especially companies that are in the medical field, pharmaceuticals, biopharmaceuticals, but not just in STEM. We've seen hiring up for all PhDs of all backgrounds, engineering PhDs, social sciences PhDs. We recently had a PhD who was unemployed for 18 months, got hired into her dream position. Uh, we had another PhD who was unemployed twice after doing a postdoc, two different postdocs for three years, um, get hired into a medical science liaison position. So no matter what your background, and again, your PhD is valuable, it's very valuable, but context matters. You're just not valuable in academia. Um, but if you look at industry, and this is, we're just comparing sci uh, uh, some simple scientist salaries here. You can look at this across the board for engineering, social sciences, everything. On average, PhDs are paid 50%, so about half of what they're worth in academia. No matter what your background is, you are paid at least half of what you're worth, only half of what you're worth in academia. So just as an example, for scientist positions, this is for a scientist one position, you'll get paid an average of $81,887. All right, a scientist two position, this is where most of you would start out if, after you get your PhD, $88,687,000 a year. On average, okay, and you can go to Glassdoor and look this up yourself, pay scale, um, and you can find these salaries and, and compare them to what you're being paid in academia. A senior scientist position, we've seen some grad students get into senior scientist positions right out of graduate school. Postdocs most often will go into senior scientist positions. Right away, you're making six figures over a hundred thousand dollars, hundred one thousand dollars on average. Now of course location matters. If you're in some cities where the cost of living is a bit higher, like Boston, if you can see that, Boston, San Diego, 
You can be paid $110,000 or more um, on average just starting out. Okay, so look up some of these salaries. Realize that your PhD is very valuable. It's just not valuable in academia. And the overall message here is to remember your value as a PhD. You are very valuable. There might be times where you feel like you're not valuable, but it's, you're just not valuable in academia. You're valuable everywhere else. So start applying the skills that you have, especially those transferable skills, um, to a job search to getting a job in industry. And if you want more information on how to do this, you can go to www.phdsgethired.com. So go to phdsgethired.com, start executing that job search, start generating referrals, and always remember your value as a PhD.